Hi, this is Mari with Oracle Cloud, and this is the very first episode of What's Trending in OCI. So today I am so excited to have Taylor Newell, Oracle Cloud, HPC, and Big Compute Director. Welcome, Taylor. Excellent. Thanks a lot, Mari. I'm happy to be here. So Taylor, um, I know that in the past few months, your HPC and Big Compute team has made quite a remarkable strides, you know, whether it's a new product launch, to strategic partnership, to even earning top ranking in a global competition. And I hope that you got to highlight a lot of that good stuff at SC20. Yeah, absolutely, Mari. And, and I just want to say thank you so much for, uh, for having me on. We, you know, we've been doing uh, just a, a, a ton of work in the space. Uh, about two months ago, we had um, the CEO of NVIDIA, the CEO of Intel, the CEO of AMD, and the CEO of, of Ampere, uh, which is an ARM manufacturer, uh, on, you know, on with us or on with our EVP, Clay McGurick, and talk, talking with Clay about how those vendors or those partners of ours uh, were helping to support us and helping to build out our high performance computing platform. Um, so you're absolutely right when you say like there's a lot of momentum, there's a lot of buzz going on uh, in the high performance computing space. And for, for us as a company, for us as a cloud, what's most important, of course, is that our customers are seeing this and that they're deriving uh, really some good value uh, out of this. Now, you mentioned Supercomputing 20. Uh, this is by far the most exciting event of the year for an HPC person like myself. Um, and, you know, SC20 was a little bit different than what we've been doing in previous years, just because it was all online. Um, but even with it being completely online, uh, we had tons of announcements and we had a lot of interest in the things that, uh, that we were doing and the things that, uh, that we're talking about. And you had um, three or four uh, virtual sessions uh, where you got to highlight some of those uh, uh, cool use cases, correct? Oh yeah, the really the the three the three sessions the three things that we wanted to go very deep on uh, with the participants of the conference this year were number one our participation or our partnership with Fugaku. Um, right. Fugaku is actually now the biggest supercomputer in the world. Uh, supercomputing every year lists uh, has a list of the top uh, five hundred supercomputers in the world. This year, Fugaku is at the very top of that list, and they've selected Oracle as their cloud partner for storage and for HPC. Uh, so that was very exciting. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, so we were really excited to talk about that. Additionally, we launched our A1, our uh, GPU, the latest generation GPU. Uh, so working with NVIDIA, uh, we've brought the Ampere or the A100 GPU uh, to the market. In fact, we were the first vendor uh, to make it available. So you could buy it on Oracle Cloud before you could buy it anywhere else. So uh, I heard from the little birds, uh, as I'm part of the HBC team, that there's actually a long list of uh, customers already wanting to use this A100, correct? Yeah, the, de the demand is, I mean, it's incredible. I've not seen this same demand for any other product that our team has, uh, has launched. Was there a lot of uh, uh, attention to the IO500 result that we were able to share uh, prior to the summer? I mean, that was a cool, really cool uh, highlight. Yeah, it's a highlight that we're extremely proud of. And from working in high performance computing in the cloud for you know the better part of the last nine, 10 years, um, I, I never thought that we would be able to do this. Uh, Pinkesh, Pinkesh Valdria on the team, he, you know, he was responsible for building the fastest and highest ranked uh, Spectrum Scale file server, the fastest and highest ranked BGFS file server, uh, and the fastest cloud file server. Uh, this, is, this is extremely exciting. And from, from the cloud perspective, we're, I mean, the speeds that we're seeing far exceed the speeds that, uh, that customers can generally get on premises. When you compare us with the other cloud vendors, uh, the price of one of these file systems on the cloud, uh, in some cases is like 1 20th of what it would be uh, at, a, at a competing 
uh, at a competing cloud vendor. We're making uh, things a lot easier for our salespeople, right? <laughs> <laughs> with the, can't be beat with the price and the performance is top, right? So I like to think of it as we're making things a lot easier for our customers. Um, <laughs> you're, but you're absolutely, you know, you're absolutely right. And you know, the message that we brought to Supercomputing 20 was that enterprise grade HPC workloads can now run in the cloud. Um, customers like Nissan um, and, and many others that are bringing uh, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 cores to the cloud. Um, these aren't, they're not bursting at certain times. These are customers that are running their HPC on the cloud 24 seven. They interact with HPC on the cloud the same way that they interact with their on-premises cluster. Um, it's really exciting. We've never seen this before uh, in, uh, in the cloud. And in this, this is what we wanted to share uh, with the world during Supercomputing 20. So that's really, really cool. Um, but with the unprecedented performance and I mean, I would say cost performance uh, in the cloud, not on-prem, but in the cloud, um, I know that a lot of people, a lot of organizations and the researchers are leveraging our HPC uh, in the COVID fight uh, this year. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, absolutely. You know, the slogan for SC20 this year was everywhere we are more than HPC. Uh, and I really like that in the, in the frame of what we're all going through together here. At the outbreak of the pandemic, many HPC and hyperscale providers made their resources available to researchers in the health sciences space. Uh, at Oracle, we were very excited and very proud to be part of that. Um, we, uh, we worked with the Folding at Home team at uh, the University of Washington in St. Louis. Uh, we worked with uh, many um, different, I guess, many individual researchers directly uh, that were running workloads on Oracle Cloud. We worked with uh, large pharmaceutical companies to make um, hyperscale or, or cloud computing available to them to do this work. What came out of um, this work for that our customers were doing with COVID was of course the partnership with Fugaku. Uh, it was the partnership with, uh, with Octopus, which is a, another um, supercomputing center in Japan. Bristol University are able to do a lot of their protein folding and a lot of their COVID research on Oracle Cloud. At Oracle, we're proud to make these high performance computing resources available to those researchers that are investigating COVID. And with all of this, I mean, we take it for granted, but whether uh, on-prem, you know, with the restriction to uh, being able to go to the office, um, you know, having this kind of a resource available to them on demand without any performance compromise, when you step back, it's really, really cool stuff. I mean, really. And we're really paving the way to having our customers and researchers solve a bigger problem much more challenging problem that they could have not been otherwise able to do. I, I love, I love the way that you said that you shared that, you know, we, we, we are, um, we're in a business, we're in an industry that gives us the opportunity to enable others to do amazing things. Um, and, and that's what, that's what I love about working at, at Oracle. And that's what I love about working at Oracle cloud is that we're able to to build tools to allow other people to do their jobs better. That's wonderful. And I'm, I'm glad that we got to showcase some of that coolest stuff at the ISC20. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me, Mari. This uh, really was a, was a pleasure. Thank you.